Lee Carreri. He found stardom in the 80s as Bruno on the hit TV show Fame. But what's been happening to him since? Well, he's here. I'm here. Shall I ask that question? What's been happening to you since? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I've, been, I've been staying sort of behind the camera doing uh, music for uh, TV shows, producing artists, you know, uh, actually working on my own music, uh, this Aquabox uh, CD that I've been working on for a, a couple of years and, and um, just, just uh, making a lot of music. Because there's always a problem in our profession, isn't it, Lee? If you're not actually seen in something that is prime time or what have you, then you're not working. They forget that there's clubs, there's cabaret, there's other channels. Right, right. Uh, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and they just think, oh, my goodness, disappeared. Mm -hmm. Did that happen to you? Would people say that to you? Yeah, well, you, you know, usually people think that, you, you know, you, you might not be alive anymore. You know, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's right. That's a, you know. I thought you were dead. Right. <laughs> One of those actual things. Um, you've got, in fact, when I first read about the uh, video Aquabox, Sweet Clarity, I've just bought, thank goodness it's come out, Sweet Charity, oh. um, with uh, Shirley MacLaine. It's taken a while to get out one of my favorite musicals. Tell us a little bit about uh, Sweet Clarity, and then we're going to have a look at the, uh, the video. Uh, where did you get the idea from? Actually, I, I was sitting in, uh, in Jerry's Deli in, in Los Angeles, and there was a big poster, and Debbie Allen was on the poster, and it, and it was a poster of Sweet, Clar Sweet Charity, because she was in the show. No, how funny. Right, so there right, is that link. Right. And We're I, and, psychic. <laughs> yeah, carry on. And it, and it sort of came to me very clearly that, that Sweet Clarity was probably a, a good idea for a song. And then, uh, and then when, when I wrote the song with Anzu, who's the artist that you'll see on the video, uh, it, it, it very much reflected, you know, what... what, what what do you do at that point where, where everything, what you're supposed to do in your life becomes crystal clear for you and, uh, and, and, and how you could sort of shed all the, uh, all the bad stuff and, and let all the good stuff in. And, and, uh, and then we wrote the song and then, uh, and then the video took a, a bit of a, of a different turn too. But, uh, you know, having to do a sweet clarity in terms of uh, vision of security cameras looking at you and, 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 the, and, and visions from, you know, sort of hardware visions of us, you know. Uh, kind of coming coming into play in the song, you know. So shall we have a look at it sure, now? I'd love to. Sweet clarity, and we both had a sweet charity link. Here it comes. <laughs> That is such a great rhythm. I love that rhythm. Oh, thank you. It's absolutely marvellous. So what are you going to do with that now? Has it been released in the States? You're bringing it over to the UK? Actually, we're starting here. Oh, and, are you? And, and, and the great uh, Shanghai Surprise did a, a dance mix of it, which became number one on the club charts. And, uh, and we're, uh, we're doing some uh, future collaborations, too. Uh, and, uh, and so we're just going to, you know, um, we started with clubs, hopefully... Uh, get it uh, into, into mainstream, and then bring it to the U.S. Well, we're glad that we had it here. Are we the first? Mm. We are. Yes. Another exclusive. Yes. We love exclusives for everybody in the U.K. and Europe and Ireland who are all watching us. Let's have a look at your chart, because I was intrigued. We, we've talked for the last seven weeks since the series has been mm -hmm. going about how Capricorns and Virgos have got some really juicy aspects, astrologically. Yeah. And I look at your chart, and the first thing I see is that you're a Capricorn, and you have Virgo rising. And the reason why that's goodly at the moment is because Jupiter, the planet of luck and opportunity, is travelling through Virgo. Virgo. So therefore, it will bring out your persona. It will bring out your need for growth. It will bring out your need for creativity. Mm. And it's interesting that you chose a foreign land to the extent that we never think of Americans as foreign ever here. Um, but basically, you're born in New York, but you have chosen an, an, another land to launch it. Mm. That is a very lucky move. Oh, good. Because Jupiter is the international planet. So the fact it links with your sun sign and your rising sign, and also very interestingly, the fact that your wife, Sherry, is a Virgo, mm. does she involve with this at all? You know, she, she's, uh, she's my muse. You know, she, she's a, a fantastic uh, uh, springboard. Yeah, I, I mean, if, if, if she gives me feedback all the time. And, and you know, she, she just has that uh, intuitive nature that, that, that I really kind of grow to rely on. 
Well, it couldn't be better. The stars look good. You look good. The sounds are great. Everybody, Lee Carreri. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.